Good morning. Oh, thank you, Jim and I. Thank you. Child from Italy, girl. What's up, Juliana? Uh -huh. Juliana, look what I'm eating. Just finishing up a bagel. With cream cheese and lox and capers and tomato. Bagel. Bagel with lox on it. Mm. Hi, you guys. What's up, Las Vegas? <laughs> right, Julian. Yep. I need to be on a diet. Don't worry about it. But I... There's no point, as next month is my family reunion, and they don't even know what that is, and we're not going down there for that, but maybe after that. The peak is salmon. Mm. Guys, guess what? <laughs> oh, thank you, Eric. Let's talk about it. Guess who came to my show last night? Three people of minor importance, two of them, I can't remember their name. One of them was a baseball player. One of them is an ex-football player named Yannick something, no Foxy. But one of them was my friend, and I'm gonna post it later. But I'm gonna post these the pictures later. But the one person who came to my show last night was Trayvon's mother, Sabrina, Sabrina Fulton. I feel like Sabrina is really the mother of the revolution because all this, the revolution I think started to me, for me, the wake up and take action, the Black Lives Matter, the revolution I believe started with Trayvon's murder first. And the fact that George Zimmerman is still walking around is, we talked about it a little bit, it's, it's, it's more than insult to injury. This is your son's murderer walking around and capitalizing on the murder, the unnecessary, unwarranted murder of my son. So before Ama Aubrey, and before George Floyd, there was Sabrina, her husband, and Trayvon.
the fact that she comes to see me, me, every time I come near the Florida area, it gives me great joy. I make sure she get every motherfucking thing in the building. Drinks, food, entrance, VIP, yes, anything she wants. We met at the Essence Festival in New Orleans probably eight years ago. And we've been uh we've been friends ever since. When I met her I bowed down to her, one of the the mothers of the revolution. And I treat her as such, you know. So we stay in touch and she comes to see me. She wanted me to, she went to the crab, this crab place out here yesterday. And she said, you should go, you should go look at these crab legs. And I was like, oh, that looks delicious. She said, you should go. I said, I know, but I don't leave the room. She said, you don't leave the room. I said, I don't. I'm going to leave the room tomorrow and do something that I, Never, hardly ever do, and haven't done in years, but I don't leave the room. And she said to me, she said, here, here, go to the name of the place, pull up the menu, and text me what you want, and I'll pick it up and bring it to you. I'm not going to let her do that. I got people that work for me down the hall. If I want this shit, they'll go get it. We might want the shit, and I might send them to go get it, but I wouldn't have Sabrina do that. You don't have to do that, girl. But she volunteered to do that for me. She also has a foundation that she's uh, she goes does public speaking to kids and stuff like that. Um, oh, you just got here. I'm talking about Sabrina Fulton the mother of Trayvon Martin, who came to see me last night at my show here in Dania Beach, Florida. This is the picture, one of the pictures that I showed. So if you're late, don't ask me shit that don't have to do with what I'm talking about right now, please. So she volunteered to do that. I was like, girl, no. She she talks to kids about setting goals and stuff like this. And um, yeah, she's got like, I think Trayvon Martin Foundation. This She gave me some stuff, I'll show you. This red bag because that's her color. First, she gave us all these You Are Trayvon Martin wristbands. Right? You Are Trayvon Martin. And then she gave me a Trayvon Martin mask. And it says, do you know it's been 10 years? How old would her son be now? He'd be in his 20s. Yeah, she does a lot of community work. She gave me this mask. And it says on it, 10 years, still standing, still strong. And it says Trayvon Martin Foundation Memorial Edition. Not even the death of my son will separate me from the love of my son. Ten years. Ten motherfucking years.
She gave me a pin. That sweet baby. That's the way she'll always remember him, you know? And then here's her card. It's got Trayvon on the front. And her business on the back. Sabrina Fulton, the Trayvon Martin Foundation. You can always contact her if you have anything to say. Sabrina at TrayvonMartinFoundation.org. And it's S-Y-B-R-I-N-A. Sabrina. S-Y-B-R-I-N-A. Sabrina at TrayvonMartinFoundation.org. Yeah. It's not like his death changed anything. All it did was kick off the motherfucking marathon of murders to follow. One of my most cherished, I'll probably fly home in this. I'll probably wear it tomorrow. This is not just a symbol, yo. This is somebody's son. She gave birth to this boy. Like so many other murdered, mothers of murdered children have. Cherished, very cherished. I'm so glad she gave me these. And I got one other t-shirt. How do you do it? There are t-shirt companies all over the country making memorial t-shirts for our slain children. Yeah, it makes my heart hurt, too. I tell you guys, I've been saying lately in my act that it's not always easy to be a comedian, especially when you just don't feel like it sometimes, you know? Some days I get in my bag and I see so much racist tauntings and beatings and shootings and killings on Instagram, and then they want to take my shit down because I put on some Savage X Fenty panties. But it's okay to show our kids being murdered in the street, being shot in the back. I used to say, I like firemen. Firemen are cute. And firemen are always coming to save you. And firemen are not like police. They're firemen. And we're always happy to see a fireman. Until somebody reminded me that it wasn't the police spraying us down in the street with hoses. It was the firemen. I said, oh, yeah. I have one child, my daughter, Danielle. Y'all know I got my baby. If you've never seen her, let me show her to you. This is my daughter. That's my one child. That's my one and only. This is the person I love more than anybody on the planet. And I love a lot of people. 
But just like I heard this brother say this morning, and I said it to like 20 of my friends, if, if, first of all, if something where, like I know that you have to pick up, if you keep breathing, if you keep waking up, you have to pick up, pick up and keep going, you know? But for me, I'm just talking about for me. If anything was to happen to this one right here, pray for the world. I'm here to tell you right now, right now, I'm saying it on Instagram. If anything was to happen to that one right there, for me, this is for me. I'm not strong enough to go on. My life would be over. My career would be over. I First, I wouldn't be able to get out to bed for about six months. And then I might would go on some kind of killing spree. Because everybody could get it. My life would be spent trying to murder the person who murdered my daughter. I already have a sister who got murdered. My daddy got murdered. And we ain't gave up on finding. We know who killed my father, but we ain't gave up on finding who killed my sister. And the fucked up thing is, if they're alive, they might be looking at me right now. The person who killed my sister might be looking at me on Instagram right now. Because I certainly have talked about it enough. And I would have no reason to give a fuck about my life. I don't know. Listen, I don't care what the preachers say. I don't care what the saints say. If somebody killed my daughter, that's it. You don't hear about many murderous women going out here and taking retaliation on the people who committed these assaults against their family and the child that they birthed, wiped their face, taught how to walk, gave them a bath. You don't hear about many women going to fuck off, going crazy, and shooting up everybody. But you're looking at the bitch right here. This is on everything. Ain't no more motherfucking comedy. Ain't no more motherfucking comedy. Ain't no more career. Ain't no more goals. I'm done. Because I'm not strong like that. I talk a good game. But I'm not strong like that. Somebody get mine, that's it. It's over for everybody. I don't want to talk to my family, my friends, nothing. That's it. You better come see about me. Because I'm not going to be okay. I pray for that girl every day. When I'm out of state... Like this, and she's back wherever she is. Of course, I worry. You have to, I think you have to, to do what I do and be a mother. You have to develop a, uh, you have to uh, develop a, uh, uh, you have to develop a block, like a wall, to where you just block it out and pray that they're safe until you can get back to them. Because if you don't, you be calling and worrying, freaking and this and that, checking the location all the time, and you know. Thank you. Thank you, Tatoya. Okay, yes. Right, yes. Tap, 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 tap. How do you say your name? Takaira Jaqua? You and me both. It ain't nothing you can say. It ain't no prayer that you be able to pray. So no matter how much these kids get on your nerves, honey, you better hold them tight. Hold them tight. Even when they little assholes, go in there and kiss them while they sleep. I remember Cat had that one joke one time. He said, look at it. You see them sleeping. They look so innocent. You never would have thought that they killed three Rottweiler puppies that day. 
No matter what these little motherfuckers do, man, we birthed these kids. We They came from inside of us. From inside of us. That's already a miracle. I wish all the guns would go away. Squirt guns, BB gun, pellet gun, water gun, the guns like this as a joystick on a game. All the guns. All the guns need to go. These motherfuckers are learning how to squeeze before they can spell their fucking name. And if all the guns would go, then we could go back to whooping ass the good old-fashioned way. I don't nothing beat a good old-fashioned beat down in the street for me. Because you can really put your emotions into that. It don't take no motherfucking emotion to do like that. It don't take no skill to do that. But the good old-fashioned street beat down, I'll bite these motherfucking fingernails off real quick. Dip in that ass. Yeah, all the guns need to go, Jatori Winfield, all of them. How are we going to protect ourselves? How did we do it before? With an axe, with a bat, with a chain, with a bow and arrow, with a rope, with a knife. This is my favorite pen. This is my favorite pen in the world, and I've got many blinged out pens. You know why this is my favorite pen? That's why. Anyway, so I've got to wake my boys up if they're not woke already. I got to do not disturb them, but they still could have texted me. It's time for breakfast, even though I had a half of a... Our children are on loan to us by God, and he's in control of our life. And so... I don't want to hear that shit. Tell that to the mothers whose kids' blood is running in the street. Don't quote me no bullshit ass fucking um, uh, cliche ass fucking statement. I don't want to hear that shit. That don't that don't comfort a, a, a mother or a father who done lost their child. That's just rhetoric. Is that what you would say if you had to bury one of yours? That somebody killed at a at a bodega or at the gas station? Is that what you would say to comfort yourself? You better than me. Now yeah, that's all I can say about that. You better than me. Exactly, took took her. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Coffee and cigarette time. Oh, well, that is sort of the American, I don't know. I don't do cigarettes. I detest, I detest tobacco. Yes, CB guy, I'm glad you don't either because you wouldn't be able to withstand the pain. God damn. 
waiting for a truth. That's crazy. Oh, thank you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We we'll never duplicated the original one. Sorry to hear that, baby. <laughs> What's up, Arkansas? Ooh, grits. Rhonda, grits, you ain't got no bacon? You ain't got no egg? Yeah, Jesus. I'm sorry to hear some of these stories I'm seeing. I'm sorry. Weird, of course. Look at Aaron. What are you talking about? Well, it's Saturday, right? So what y'all doing today? Hi, Aaron. I see you. Not you, Aaron. I see you, but not you. I'm talking about Bill and M.M. down the hall. Did I text you? I text you the wrong... I text you, Aaron, the other, this morning. No, I don't know what. Yep, my mama lost her husband and her daughter, my sister, to Moira. Moira, Moira, y'all, y'all, we working on a little thing thing about it. Because even though it's been many, many years ago, ain't nobody forgot, you don't forget. How the fuck you forget? There's a hole in your soul that don't go away. I know, I see you. I, yes, 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 Aaron, I know I got it. Uh, okay, what am I doing today? I'm not doing nothing. You recovered, Rhonda, got a hangover. Yeesha's swimming. Baby C's recovering from COVID again. You're about to go to Ebor City and enjoy the day. My husband's doing better. Going to the air and water show for you and the kiddos. Uh, hi, thank you, working. Why you haven't heard from Regina King? She just did something over in Europe. Oh, you smoking. You're going to make pork tacos. How is it hot? 114 degrees in Vegas. I was in Phoenix a couple of weeks ago, and it was 114. And let me tell you something about that heat right there. That heat will make you pull your pin out and stab every motherfucker in your way. That's that do the right thing heat. That's that throw a garbage can heat. Ooh, Lord. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 114. <laughs> no, my mama's not standing on nothing but the Lord's shoulder. She gone too. I'm an orphan, y'all. When you really do hear this, my story one day, you're going to be like, and how did you end up doing fucking comedy after all that tragedy and bullshit? Let's just say every episode that Oprah, Phil Donahue, Rolanda, and all the every episode they ever had on their show, I done been through all that. You you know a lot because I tell you a lot, but there's a lot that you don't know. That is real super fucked up. I said it, right? Okay, good. What up, Lil Rock? You know, I'll be in Tarlette, Arkansas for my homecoming in like two weeks. To the garden. It's cold in Oakland. I hate that, Keisha. 
When it be hot someplace, that'll be cold in Oakland. That's the only thing about the damn bay. Storming in Indiana. Recovering from knee surgery. Okay, keep doing your therapy, honey. Doctor's office with your daughter. 90 degrees in Milwaukee. Whoa. What? I'm just asking why. You don't have to be tired. I'm just wondering what happened. Baby, don't get offended if I go, like, get out your feelings, honey. It's not, if I had a problem, I would say it. Been working in the wild yard naked. I do that. Can't nobody see in my backyard. Don't forget about Rolanda. What's up, Brooklyn? Brooklyn in the house. It might have, Bridget. It definitely saved me. Yeah, in more ways than one, for sure. Uh, the comedy of my daughter saved me. It does, Mimi Johnson. You have no idea. Lake Charles, Louisiana in the house. What's going on? Met my husband in a bar restaurant in Sacramento where I was doing a show. Yeah, you'll hear the story one day. You'll see the documentary. Love from Calabasas? You mean I have fans in Calabasas that are watching me on my live? Fuck out of here. It's raining for a lot of days. Fucking shame. 96 in Rhode Island. 105 in Merced. Hot the fuck as hell in the Big Apple. Everybody hot, hot, hot. See, Al Gore tried to tell us about this global warming. Didn't nobody want to listen. Call the police for being naked. I'm like, your neighbors are haters. If they don't let you be naked, let you live. The humidity, Bridget. Uh, Vicky Lake, I was on it. Hey, Charlotte. <laughs> Doris, opposite of a snowbird, huh? I know my, my loud one is, yeah, Rolanda. Okay, CB guy, guess what? CB guy 89, guess what? So Rolanda is my friend. <clears throat> and she has moved back to New York City from L.A. And she's been doing a little stand-up or whatever like that. I said, you've been doing stand-up, Rolanda? She said, yeah. I said, why, you want a feature for me when I go to Caroline's in New York City? She said, oh, my God, when is it? I told her September 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th in New York City at Caroline's. Do you want a feature for me? And she said, yeah. So if anybody in New York remembers Rolanda or me and you want to see both of us, you can see us at Caroline's. We'll be together. I'm going to see what she do. I don't normally put people on my show that I haven't seen live in person. But, uh, like I said, Rolanda's my friend. If she do good, that's great. If she eats it, that's on her. People in planes came, girl. You got to see Janet tonight in Cincinnati. <clears throat> that's awesome. I bet you're excited. Ooh, Miss Jackson. I don't know if I'm going to get any goddamn thing for breakfast because I think breakfast stop at 11 and it's 1030 and the boys ain't hit me yet. San Bernardino, good morning. I'm coming to Ontario for my peeps in L.A. <clears throat> I think in two weeks. I think I do Raleigh, North Carolina next week and I do Ontario the week after that. Wait a minute, you said something about Raleigh. Let's do brunch, my treat. Oh, no, baby. I don't leave the room. Thank you for the offer, though. Oh, she does? Oh, uh, Morris, um, Morris and Donna, Don Morrison. <clears throat> well, I'm glad that your daughter knows my daughter. I'm glad that she's pursuing her dance career. I know you're nervous. But where the dancers be at, it don't be where the bullshit be at. Dancers, the, most of those studios are out that away, up in the valley and stuff, and they're not down in the hood. 
They have dance studios in the hood, but the professional dancers that are with agencies and stuff, like my daughter and probably your daughter, they, they dance out, out, out. So you don't have to worry about that. They'd go out after that, though. That's when you need to worry. Queer shit. Clouds and rain in Detroit. Motherfucking shame. What's up, Birmingham? One of my favorite places. I wasn't friends with Tina Marie. I only met her once. Yes, Rolanda was South L.A. chef. You met Ro Rolanda in Durham? At the Women's Empowerment. Yep, that's her. She do stuff like that. Well, no, I don't like to order room service because unless I have it delivered to one of my people's room. Because room service, now you're in my room. You're seeing me in my gown. You know where I'm at. You know I'm in the hotel. That's not secure. So if I order room service, it goes to my people's room. Then they bring it to me. I do not get tired of traveling at all. I get tired of packing and unpacking. That gets on my nerves. Yeah. I'll take it. Go on and get up and make you some breakfast then. I'll let you guys go so that you can eat. Did I see the Ricky Smiley Show? I've been on the Ricky Smiley Show. I'm little Daryl's mama. You know, little Daryl, that's my son. Yes, I loved working with Todd Hall. He's a babe. Who the Mad Apple in Vegas? Your daughter's a dancer too. Lisa, Lisa, Mrs. Eden. You saw Elton John this weekend. Shut the fuck up, Renee Henderson. Where'd you see Sir Elton John? What city am I in? I'm in Dania Beach, Florida. <clears throat> right outside of Fort Lauderdale. I never heard of it. But they just opened this club at Brand Spank. It ain't been open but eight months. So here I am. Am I going to Ricky Smiley's birthday badge? You know, I wasn't invited. So I don't know anything about it. But probably not, just if it's in Atlanta. Lunell is... In Florida, I guess. Birmingham. What up, Birmingham? Hi, Burbank. What? Okay. Who am I a really big fan of in music? I mean, hello. I need some lotion on this old hand, huh? You go to nature's lotion. Yeah, I met Jed, of course. Jetta Jones, of course. What am I gonna cook when I get home? <clears throat> I'm probably just gonna cook some chicken wings, rice aroni, and maybe some corn and some salad for my daughter now. Did y'all see my interview with Bill Bellamy? Bill Bellamy got a uh, Bill Bellamy got a um, show called Top Billing. What more can I say, top billing? And so, so be this unapologetically, I see you. Um, no, Dolce is not here in Florida with me. I don't travel with Dolce. My daughter travels with Dolce. I want to one day travel with Dolce, but not yet. You guys got to go to YouTube when you get a chance. <clears throat> and put in top billing. B-I-L-L-I-N. Top billing with Bill Bellamy and Lunell. Here go a clip. That's a commercial, obviously. Sam, my mom's place for a couple of nights. Ah, your 
What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Bill Bellamy. Make sure you check out my new show. Top Billing. The place where I bring all my celebrity guests, athletes, comedians, artists, to tell their story, to discuss their vibe, and be who they truly are. I was at a club one night, and Shook Knight was in there. No. That dude comes up like, hey, yo, big homie, want to talk to you. And I'm like, holy. Top Billing. Then as you get the offensive rebound, throw it Isaiah, the clap, and start the 24. Vinny Don said you get the rebound shooter, so. <laughs> Man, I'm talking about we should have one of those. Yeah. We should travel them around Crucial. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Because TMZ ain't taking them there. The only place to do this is Top Billing right here in Hollywood, California. Great Beat Media, we Top Billing, baby. I have a wedgie in my coochie right now. Top Billing. Find and follow Top Billing with Bill Bell. <laughs> Did y'all see my interview? I see somebody right there did. Yeah, the Bill Bellamy interview, you guys, top billing, is out now. Pretty funny. Let's see. Now I have. Uh, if, here's another question for you. If what would what would you say now to the young Lunel? What advice would you give if you could go back and talk to yourself 20 years ago? What what advice would you give to the young Lunel now to the wise? Put the cocaine down <laughs> first, and don't steal that money. <laughs> <laughs> That would be my that, advice. That would, that would be good. Put the cocaine down and don't steal that money. Don't steal that money. Don't people know what you did. Yeah, and you got to go to jail for four months and 18 days in Twin Towers, Brooks, and Philly, Caesar Chavez Boulevard, downtown Los Angeles, California. <laughs> That's what's going on. 536302, no phone booking number. Campbell, roll up your property. That, that's what happens when you make a bad decision. That's what happens. Now, how about this, though? When you made the bad decision... What were you able to do to say, this was what this is, and get back to your dream? Well, I still fucked up after I got out of jail. But the one thing that I did do that I think was very prophetic, you know, when you, when you, when you get released from jail, mm -hmm. you get released back into the clothes you was arrested in. Okay. And when I was arrested, I was arrested at my home in the Bay Area. They extradited me back here to Long Beach. And I mean to LA and, and from you too. So I had on a like a pajama top and some overalls and a robe. That's what I was arrested in. That's also what I was released in. Whoa. So I was downtown LA, like in the jewelry district, you know, waiting on the bus in a robe, looking like I belong there. <laughs> yeah. And so on and so on. So check out top billing. Top billing, top billing, B I L L I N. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing on YouTube, Bill Bellamy and me. The interview is epic. I'm proud of that interview. Thank you. That's what I really look like. This is all makeup. <laughs> uh. Yeah, watch it doing breakfast. You that's a total great breakfast thing to watch. Top billing on YouTube with Bill Bellamy with his cool self. I know Bellamy still look good. His hairline going back just a little bit, but he's still fine, happily married and fine. Yes, it's time to get my nails done again. I'm gonna get like a hot fucking some kind of wild ass color this time because I never do them neon colors. But I think I'm gonna, but I only got Monday to do it too, so I'm busy with it. Maybe on Wednesday, I don't know. Well, okay, guys, it's been a great morning. And, okay, yeah, it's on YouTube now. Yeah, it's on YouTube now. Plus, it's on all the streaming services, podcast streaming services. But if you wanna watch, you can listen to it as you're driving down the road for all you truck drivers and stuff. But if you want to watch, you can see the thing on uh, on YouTube. I'm going to go and find out what these guys are doing. Because nobody has hit me about breakfast. Oh, I know, 444 Truth. Good Lord. 
I was like, it's, I, I got to get the fuck out of here. I'm about to do something. I ain't got no business doing. Yes, we saw each other at the fashion show, but that was in the middle of quarantine when we did that fashion show, and everybody was so sectioned off. We all had a little dress room with black curtains. We couldn't see nobody, and everybody was there. You know, Willow Smith was there. Paris Hilton was there. And um, my girl from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills was there. The pretty mess. So, thank you, guys. Well, I would save this live, but I'm not gonna. So, the people who saw for you 400-something people who saw... Amen. Yeah. You're going to see me in Ontario. That's great. He's doing better. Yes, Hennessy, the Black Rose. This shit is real. What, what killed me is I thought it was just me. But apparently, it has happened to a lot of people out there. Coochie wedgie. Mad uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm sorry, Val. I'm sorry, babe. I've been on for like 40 minutes. Hello, DMV. Oh, that reminds me. I got to call my man, Red Grant. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a beautiful day. If you are in the... Down your beach, Fort Lauderdale, Florida area. And you want to see your girl, come on out to the Improv and check me out tonight. I have two more shows tonight and then one tomorrow. Save it. But everybody don't, well, you know, I've saved them, but I don't think that people watch them all the way through. You know, you motherfuckers' attention span is very TikTok. And if you can't see anything in three seconds, you don't have no interest. That's why we're not reading books no more. That's why we're not watching movies without a phone in our hand no more. So I don't think I am going to save it. I think that the people that were here were here and... I'll just do another one another time. Okay? So, have a great weekend. Come see me if you can. Raleigh, North Carolina next weekend. Ontario, California the weekend after that. Okay? So, I'm going to talk to y'all. I got to get some food because, you know, I don't keep this figure up by, like, not eating. I got to eat. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Bye.